Dan and Josh at the Acoustic Centre. Joshy, we are running against the clock today. We have, this is a record. This is a record. Sitting next to me, five semi-hollow electric guitars from Eastman, plus the one you're holding there makes six. Mm. Eastman guitars, what can we say? They're fast becoming a powerhouse in the guitar industry with the amount of Unbelievable. guitars they offer. Yep. Acoustic, electric, yep. not to mention... Mandolins. Mandolins, not yep. to mention their whole orchestral department, yep. which we're not involved with. Yep. But they have a stunning range of semi-hollow electric guitars um, with slight differences not only in construction but a huge variance in the pickups they use. Yeah. They really think about their pickups. Well, that's what I'm absolutely astonished with. Uh, there's someone who is helping design these guitars. I'm not sure who, who's doing it. Mm knows what they're, they're doing when mm -hmm. it comes to selection of pickups with the guitars, you know, so right. there's a wide selection of pickups. They all sound quite different from each other. Mm -hmm. It might be difficult to get that across on camera today, mm. but uh, amazed with the sound, the detail in these guitars, the feel, the setup, the finish, it's all right. incredible. Eastman yeah. renowned for offering <coughs> very highly spec <coughs> instruments at uh, often a fraction of the price mm. of some of the bigger names and it's the same with their pickups they're using really high quality famous name pickups which you get in higher models yep. and here they are available in these great guitars yeah so high-end pickups high-end componentry too mm -hmm. so you know switch cut craft jacks cts pots all of the uh every everything the, all the wiring is is really high quality mm -hmm. you know so um yeah it's it's hard to fault these guitars kicking off with this one the yeah. t486b b being for bigsby mm. comes without the bigsby as well yes interesting pickups in this one straight okay. off the bat so seymour duncan's mm -hmm. so everyone knows the name seymour duncan these are called fat cat p90s mm -hmm. so basically what the fat cat p90s are they're not super hot as in like high output pickups, they're not super low, they're kind of just a, a medium output pickup. Nice and clear, uh, will overdrive an amp nicely, they have a nice clean tonality as well, mm -hmm. so it's not just for overdrive, but um, they're the same footprint or real estate or however you want to put it, size-wise to a humbucker. Right. So a direct drop-in for a humbucker. So uh, yeah, if you've got humbuckers, and you want to put these in, you can put them directly into your guitar. Right, and a clever design because the T486 model without the Bigsby looks just the same, comes with humbuckers That's in it. That's right, yeah. yeah. So so straight up 335. So this is kind of a 335 variation with yeah. the P90. Here so, we go. Um, bit nice and clear and chimey. Gotta love a P90. Oh. Yeah, just loving that sort of chimey sound. Now, obviously, all, all the demos we're doing with the same amplifier, we're not changing any settings. You mean Tommy Emanuel's amp? Uh, Ex-Tommy Emanuel. <laughs> There's a whole story unto itself. This is, we're using Tommy Emanuel's old custom Fender amp, which he has recently given to Hamish, our colleague in the shop. Yeah. We've got it right there. It's going to be used in all of our demos. Tommy's old amp. Yeah, that's right. There we so go. That's why everything sounds so good. You know? <laughs> but uh, it's just a, it's, it's a good custom standard Fender amplifier. Mm -hmm. It sounds funny sounding, saying custom, but it's a, it's a, pretty much the guts of it are, are a, a, essentially a standard DeVille, mm -hmm. Blues DeVille. Mm -hmm. So clean sound. This helps us hear the sound of the pickups mm. in the character in the pickups. Obviously, we're not playing all of the burning riffs and everything you can play, mm. but just that sound. Which is a lovely sound, you I know? love the woodiness. Clocky. Yeah. So really old school kind of, you know, James Brown funk kind mm -hmm. of a sound. Mm -hmm. And then on the front pickup... Just clear even on the front pickup, mm. so great sounding pickups. So nothing wrong with that. That's the back pickup. Beautiful looking guitar. I love black. You know I love the black. Can't go wrong. T486B. 
Moving on. Righto. What do you got? I'm going to take you to Tone Town <laughs> okay. via the, uh, what have we got again? Oh, the T64V armed with Lola <coughs> Dog Ear P90s. All right. Now, fascinating guitar. Completely hollow. Mm -hmm. So completely different weights to the last guitar. Acoustically. It'll be the loudest of the lot. Yeah. Um, never a guitar that's a bright sounding guitar, acoustically. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now, uh, plugged in. To me, a bit more old world. Mm. Lola P90s in a guitar that, that doesn't sustain as much as the other guitar. It drops yeah. off a bit quicker. Uh, this has the spirit finish that they talk about, which is a varnished finish. Yeah, it's great. Which is basically a uh, French polish. Yeah. So a French polish is... is Pretty much the thinnest finish you can put on a mm. guitar, and so therefore very resonant guitar. Great sound. Just, a, but a bit more old world to yeah. me. That yeah. those Lola pickups have that old school kind of tonality. Go. Cherry red never fails. Cherry red and Bigsby light as a feather. Yeah. Old school. If you're looking for an older school tonality, like it, Josh. All right, what do you got? One of the more <laughs> modern creations from Eastman. Um, mm. One of their newer models. That's the Romeo LA. Super yeah. cool guitar. Was playing it in the shop with a customer yesterday. Sounded fantastic. Now this is not going to be for everyone in terms of the shape. Mm -hmm. I personally. Love the shape so of this. So do I. I. Saw a video the other day of Tim Pierce playing one of these guitars. Okay. There's a lot of people in the internet land. I know who Tim Pierce is. Celestine blue is the colour of that, which I think is a pretty mm. fine looking colour. Yeah, Ebony nice. fretboard. Again, this has. It, it's a bit deceptive because these look like they're gold foils, but these are what we call radiator covers on P90 Fat Cats. Again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so same pickups that were in the other one. In this instrument, again, let's just have a listen to it. It does have a great unplugged sound, this one. Yeah, nice and chimey. Mm -hmm. So it's a brighter sounding guitar from the get-go, mm -hmm. less honky than the last one. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the pickups uh, echoing that tone... Yeah, it's almost gretchy and it's... Mm -hmm. this guitar mm. unreal sound and uh that's a dusenberg style tremolo gotcha it has a beautiful feel to it yep <clears throat> i love tremolos as you know it sounds like i love everything to do with guitars mm. i'm sorry i'll keep harping on <laughs> comes in an all solid version too and do you know what that one's called joshy the juliet uh, the juliet this is the romeo <laughs> right well uh i was just going to point out on top of that you have the uh, locking machine heads well done. so a very stable guitar mm -hmm. if, if you are uh, Someone on stage, particularly in hot or cold weather. Mm -hmm. Staying in tune is pretty uh, paramount when you're playing a show, you that's bet. for sure. So, yeah. Nice, chimey, um, clear sounding guitar. Great, I just love it. So Really cool. The Eastman, they, don't, they obviously don't just make uh, their own versions of iconic looking guitars. They're designing their own yep. shapes and things as well. That's a super cool shape, as is the all solid body. Yeah, if you're looking for a lighter guitar that it just sits on your body really well, that might be the one for you. Yeah. A little bit smaller footprint on that guitar. Yep. What have we got? I'm taking you into a slightly larger town here. Yep. Um, um, with one of our favourite pickups, Joshy, the yes. TV Jones Classics. What do they call this model again? The numbers okay, are... so this is the T58V. Yep, V for a varnish. Yep, so again, we were speaking on the red guitar before about the spirit or uh, spirit finish, which is essentially a French polish. Mm -hmm. So the same with this guitar. So it, uh, they're designed to look like they're relic. Mm. Super, super thin finish. Now, the sound of this acoustically... It's actually quite loud. Mm. 
So, of course, you're going to have that comparison to what Gretsch are doing. But it's What's very going different. on through inside? Is there bracing in there at all? Trestle bracing? Or no. Anything? So there's no trestle bracing going to the back of the guitar. It's just a braced top. Gotcha. Solid timbers on this, though. Nice. So it's not a laminated guitar. Okay. So that's a different point of difference as well. Yeah. Again, pretty loud guitar. Now, when we switch the guitar on... So good, good representation of the guitar through these pickups. I think you know once once we switch it on, yeah, right. yeah it sounds just yeah. like the guitar. There you go. Yeah. So it's got that great Gretsch sound in many ways. Yep. But it's a completely different layout and different feel, but uh, just a tone and a volume. And Bigsby, Ebony Board, what can I say? Yeah, it's all there. <laughs> Much more acoustic sound even when plugged in in that one. That's what they do. Great sound on the back picker. Yeah. So again, they're TV Jones classic pickups, the kind yep. of pickups that really turn up in $5,000 Gretches most yep. of the time. And there they are. All of these guitars we've shown so far are just over two grand, roughly. Um, I've got one here that's a bit more expensive than that, but yeah, it just shows how well priced they are. Moving on, yep. Joshy. Moving right along. Uh, this is a gorgeous looking guitar. Obviously a take on a 175 style guitar. Florentine cutaway, it's beautiful burst finish. So again, without plugging it in. Great sound acoustically. Mm -hmm. Plugged in. These guitars always have a, a less uh, sustain yeah. as a, like a solid instrument. We were discussing that before. Smooth. It's great sound. Are these the Kent Armstrong humbuckers? Kent Armstrong's hum humbuckers. Yeah. yeah. So more of a aimed at a jazz player. Uh -huh. So it's a jazzier sounding guitar from the get-go with a jazzy style pickup. So as I said, whoever is putting the combinations of guitars and pickups and electronics together is very, very clever what they mm. do. Yeah. thinking of the great Izzy Stradlin whenever I see a guitar that shape. Yes. Well, Izzy Stradlin, uh, <laughs> but a little bit more rock. Yes, yes. He rocked a black one of those. I thought that Izzy Stradlin was the coolest guy in the universe when I was a kid. He was. Oh, he probably still is. Probably still is. <laughs> so, uh, Kent Armstrong pickups. What else can we say? Uh, beautiful that, burst. Yeah, beautiful burst. Ebony board, parallelogram inlays. Nicely That's a very done. difficult thing to say. Yeah. Uh, Chula machine heads, sort of uh, Cluson style. Yeah. It's all there. I mean, th this is only some of them, by the way. I know. Yeah, this is like, we've gone through six guitars. We've gone through all six. Got another one for Oh, me. one more to go. But then they go right into Jazz Arts top yeah. territory as yeah. well, with probably another ten models, yeah. uh, different takes on this. Bigger bodies, amazing. Like that. Yeah. Okay. What you got there? This will be the most expensive of the ones we've gone through today. Now that is a good looking guitar. Yeah, it's the T186MX in gold burst. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely appointments on this one. You're mm. moving into genuine maple uh, bindings, fretboard and body. Um, maple over mahogany, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Very lovely looking guitar. Fascinating uh, to uh, delve into these guitars. A 330 style guitar is a braced top, but hollow. Mm -hmm. A 335 is... Centre block. A centre block. This is sort of similar to a style of, of like a Gretsch trellis brace, if mm -hmm. you want to put it that way. So light as a feather, mm. acoustically. Great sustain uh, and clarity. Mm -hmm. All right, and plugged in. Clear, but a little bit more mellow. Mm -hmm. 
front pickup. So we're discussing that this has got the bare knuckle pickups They're in it. They're great sounding pickups. And these are A2 magnets I was reading. Uh -huh. Okay. So A2 magnets are a little squishier, a little rounder in their tone compared to like an A5 magnet. So what a great, sound. great combination of... M mellower uh, is what I would say about these pickups, mm. but in a really musical kind of way. Even the back pickup's not spiky, you mm. hear that? So mm. it's got a good mid-range. Yeah, great, good. great sound, good honky mid-range. You can hear already that once you put some drive on that it'll have that good grindy mm. sound of rock and roll it will so that's a beauty and again if you're looking for a guitar that is not as mellow as a 330 style instrument is not as heavy as a 335 mm -hmm. but has a great sustain and clarity mm. this might be the answer because uh it's it's very very light but it's uh, it's certainly going to feed maybe a little more than a three three five if you if you're looking at the the feedback factor, but probably not as much as the three thirty, and you mm. get a bit more clarity and mm. sustain with it. Mm. So, what a great guitar! Yeah, there you have it. Six beautiful guitars from Eastman. Incredible amount of thought going into yeah. them with the electronics as well as the makes themselves. There's a whole lot more where this came from um, in the store at the moment. Come in and check them out. Everything's on our website. Great job, Joshy. Mm. Take us out with a few chords. Yeah. Like it. <coughs> Good shoot.